good Josh boy Ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out why Vince McMahon will never be fired from WWE Cody Rhodes WWE future and other wrestling news man uh it's Vince you can't get rid of him <laughs> the only way Vince McMahon won't be involved in WWE is if he was to pass away that's it that that's literally it he would legitimately have to pass away or he would have to be charged with something go to court and actually go to jail and serve time that's the only way that's it that's it he will always and forever be there until his last day on this earth that's what we can conclude so we're gonna check this out and once again i'm not wishing death upon him i know i've seen some of you guys definitely be like yo i wish this old man would die i'm not one of them people i may not like his booking but i ain't gonna wish death on no one because you know at the end of the day without him we don't even have all of this anyway so i'm not gonna wish death upon him nor should you guys either but that's the only way he will leave wwe permanently so let's get right into this is wrestlemania here back oh, with some more news join guys. us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including cody rhodes to address his wwe future what if vince is fired wwe morale has actually improved a wwe hall of fame band blast john cena wwe mm. debuting a new show and much more be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists also check out our new channel wrestlemia shorts now let's the intro and get straight into our first story Our first story looks at Cody Rhodes to address his WWE future. See, what are you talking the about? top story today takes a look at Cody Rhodes' latest Instagram post, as it has major implications for tomorrow's edition of Monday Night Raw. Rhodes losing last weekend was truly shocking, and it led to a ton of disappointment within the WWE fanbase. Of course. And now following his WrestleMania 39 loss, Rhodes is set to enter into a brand new first time ever feud with Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. Whilst it doesn't make up for Rhodes losing, a feud with Lesnar does seem like a sensible alternative if Rhodes isn't going to carry the undisputed WWE Universal title. Nevertheless, this weekend, Rhodes took to Instagram to reflect on his WrestleMania weekend thanking key figures in his life, and Rhodes would even reveal that he granted 15 wishes for Make-A-Wish over the weekend. Okay. A long week. I know last Sunday was not the result I hoped for, and I know many fans were disappointed as well. I make no excuses. I lost. I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you how much I enjoyed the ride until Sunday night, and furthermore Monday night. And yeah. then Rhodes continued saying, I would like to thank the Make-A-Wish for America for allowing me the honor to induct 15 wishes into the circle of champions, and many okay. more names I may be forgetting. In addition, Nick Khan for taking care of my family throughout the festivities. Rhodes finished his post by promising to address his WWE future on tomorrow night's Raw. Lastly, the almost 200k fans who attended the weekend overall unwavering and motivating. I want to be your champion. This Monday, I hope to speak about my future with WWE and what may be next for me. Hmm. It's entirely possible that WWE are planning on building Rhodes up for another match with Roman Reigns. WWE seems to be replicating the story they told with John Cena mm -hmm. back in 2012, so it'll be interesting to see how Rhodes' story arc develops. Next up, yeah, that's pretty much what they're doing. Like, uh, Cody will win it. He better fucking win it because ain't nobody else. <laughs> they only have Cody. Nobody else. I know we talked about the people he has in face, but they're not beating him. It only makes sense if it's Cody. So we'll see how it plays out. But uh, yeah, nah, he definitely got to give out the beats to Brock because Brock was trying to murder him last week. What happens if Vince McMahon is fired? It's a huge shocker. Since Monday's Raw, there have been drastic calls Vince. from fans to see Vince McMahon removed from his executive position in WWE. Of course. Whilst it does seem unlikely that this will ever happen, nope. in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer went into detail in relation to what would happen if a day came in which McMahon was fired from WWE. Vince will have an annual base salary of $1.2 million as chairman of the board, another $2.1 million in bonuses, and another $4.3 million in stock grants. He signed a two-year deal retroactive to 9th January that will automatically renew unless Vince gives a 180-day notice. Damn. If he is fired without just cause, he will get his base salary until the end of the term, a portion of the bonus and a lump sum of $6.6 .6 million. <laughs> this would truly be a staggering financial hit for Endeavor if they ever decide to cut ties with McMahon. Next yep, up. he he played it right. You fire him, <laughs> you're going to have to pay him so much money, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Endeavor not trying to pay that much money, bro. 
fucked up, business is booming for WWE. Despite the perception of WWE not being in the best place currently, mainly because of the return of Vince McMahon, the product is still red hot. Uh -huh. According to Sean Ross Sapp on Twitter, this week's SmackDown had the largest gate of any non-pay-per-view in Portland history. Damn. This highlights that whilst WWE haven't got everything right as of late, there's still a prosperous show to attend and Raw and SmackDown ticket sales are going to stay on a healthy trajectory as long as their product itself doesn't take a huge nosedive. Next up has WWE no, Mar that, that, Hey, that SmackDown crowd, you guys was fantastic. And the show was much better. It was way more enjoyable. It was like a normal Friday night SmackDown <laughs> that we've been seeing for months. It was pretty good, enjoyable. Hopefully, hopefully Monday Night Raw can get fixed because, boy. Morale improved. I was reported following Monday's lackluster Raw that morale had seriously dipped in WWE. This was mainly because of Vince McMahon's involvement during the show. Sadly, his way of micromanaging talent and changing scripts whilst on air simply doesn't make for a joyous work environment. It's been well established that the majority of talent loved working under Triple H as Triple H had a great reputation as a boss and the work environment greatly improved once McMahon was removed from his embedded position in the company. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it looked like Triple H ran SmackDown this week and naturally, due to this, morale backstage at SmackDown vastly improved. That's good. This news comes from Fightful Select, who added that some talents are still waiting to see what happens as it remains unclear just how involved McMahon is set to be in the running of Raw and SmackDown. <sighs> it's also worth noting that SmackDown was a considerably better show and was yes. well received by fans. The show made logical sense and seemed to be produced efficiently. Yes. WWE's new owner's endeavor surely must see these reports and realize that the WWE is better off without McMahon involved in the creative aspect of the company. Only they can have some say so to be like, hey man, you can do certain things, but let Triple H handle the bulk. You can have some input, maybe have some decisions, maybe do a little bit of stuff here and there, but let Triple H have the bulk of the storytelling. Please, somebody, you can do the business stuff. Make sure everything is on the up and up business wise. Like I say, Vince can't let it go. He got that itch, that creative itch. That's not that creative. <laughs> He's going to do what he can, but they need to put in some type of situ stipulation clause, something. Hey, you can be involved here and there, but Triple H has to find a say so. Something, please talent morale is incredibly important and, and if all the talent are miserable and don't want to be there the company is going to obtain a terrible reputation which may ultimately influence a company in every aspect of their business strategy mm -hmm. next up a wwe hall of famer blast john cena uh, now, even though john cena put over austin theory at wrestlemania 39 last weekend some fans were critical of his performance some stated that Cena's performance was average at best, and it was clear that his heart wasn't in it. This criticism was also shared by Hall of Famer Teddy Long, who offered negative feedback towards Cena's match with Theory during mm. an appearance on the Wrestling Time Machine podcast. I just don't think Cena did business. I don't know this, but I feel that Cena is basically going to spend the rest of his career in Hollywood doing movies and stuff. And I don't want to say this, but I don't think his heart is in wrestling like it used to be. He's thinking ahead to the movies and stuff now. If you want to go and do something else, nothing's wrong with that. Further your career, do better. I'm all that. I'm for that all the way. But don't forget where you come from. Back in the day, a guy was in the territory, and if he was gonna leave for a good bit, then he would always leave the guy that's left in the territory strong. I think he could have had a better match with the kid than he did because I've seen him work in the ring before. Mm. What do you guys make of Teddy? Long I I get his criticism. I, I I would. I don't know if I would say you know saying maybe his heart wasn't in it because at the end of the day, he didn't have to do the match. He didn't have to do the job for 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 Austin Theory granted it, it was he, he definitely cooked him on the promo side of things and that was kind of interesting and then that was it he cooked him for one show and then that was it so I don't I don't know about that side of it but at the same time he did do the job for him it was a decent match we've seen much better from John I don't even know if he you know you know it's it's this wrestling thing, <laughs> there's one thing I do know. You got to really kind of be in wrestling ring shape. And I'm not sure if he was all the way there because, you know, he's been dealing with, you know, movies and stuff like that. So he may not even had enough time to really get in that point of that prime wrestling ring shape like we know John to be in. But at the same time, I still think he did the job. It did. The match did kind of fall flat at the end. But I, I don't know. I wouldn't say his heart wasn't in it because once again, he don't have to be there. It's John Cena. He could have missed this WrestleMania 
and they could have found him another partner. But the fact that he decided to come back and do the job for Austin Theory, I still commend him on that. Long's comments, are they justified? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE undergoing a hiring freeze. Uh-oh. It's been rumored online that this week WWE are undergoing a hiring freeze. These rumors predominantly are linked to WWE's sale as well as their failure to sign free agent Jay White. Mm. Fightful Select have offered an update in relation to this so-called hiring freeze and this is what they had to report. Several talent that Fightful have spoken with have claimed that there's a hiring freeze and have speculated everything from Vince McMahon's return to a potential sale being the reasons. Nobody that we've spoken to have explicitly been told that there's a hiring freeze, yet it's a term that constantly emerged. Next up, WWE to debut a new show. Maybe that can be an, uh, another reason why JY didn't come to WWE. Oh, looks like they'll be debuting a new show. On Wednesday, April 5th, 2023, WWE applied to trademark the term WWE Superstars of Tomorrow. This trademark is intended to be used for the purpose of the show, but it's unclear what type of show this will be. Hmm. It's possible that this is linked to a new John Cena show that he's working on with WWE. Little information is known at present when it comes to hmm. Cena's show, so we'll have to stay tuned to see what WWE and Cena have in store. Finally, yeah, will fans one. lose interest in WWE? Our final story today examines some recent comments from Hall of Fame Kurt Angle. Angle Twitter. on the latest edition of his podcast offered criticism towards WWE for failing to crown Cody Rhodes. The former champion then claimed that he's concerned that fans will lose interest in WWE as they're failing to make new stars. Angle added, I'm not going to beat up on Roman Reigns because he is the man he deserves to be. Mm -hmm. We're in a time now if you're a champion for three years, that's a little long. It's just too long. The thing is, he's on TV every week, sometimes twice a week, and then you know a pay-per-view every month. It's just a lot. I don't believe the ratings are going to go down, but I do believe some people are going to lose interest because they're not making other wrestlers. You know, Roman has an opportunity to make a wrestler. He could have made Cody into a megastar, which Cody already is a star, but he would have been made a megastar if he won at WrestleMania. Do you guys agree with Angle's comments? Mm. Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next I get what he was saying. I was not trying to do that. I, I do get what he was saying in the sense what is going on, guys? of how he was uh, trying to work it. Guys, it is. Because, I mean, Roman doing the job for Cody would have definitely made him just a, a mega over you know but at the same time i'm not sure if he watches the product as much roman don't be on there every week he really don't he does he's not he don't be there for every pay-per-view either so it's one of those things where he's not on there every week he's not on there twice a week i think if it's been a criticism that we don't see the championship so if anything we don't see him as much as you would think we would as the head champion but i do get what he's saying in the sense of new stars being made and we're in a different time period you could do the long title reigns back then because wrestlers weren't on television that much and there was different territories so you could do those four to five year title reigns some crazy stuff like that now people have more access to you know pe you know there's more shows you can see the wrestlers a little bit more granted roman has a more of a part-time schedule but at the same time it's one of those things where it's like pretty much you want to be able to build new stars and it's kind of hard to build these new potential head of the like you know top of the card guys if the person is you know pretty much holding the titles hostage booking wise so I don't know. It's one of those things. Is it's gonna be a conversation we have for quite some time until Roman drops the title. Hopefully, fans don't lose interest. I know some people are like, ah, I'm kind of over it now. I thought Cody was gonna win it. I, I'm, I'm really kind of over it. I think he should have won it then. And then there's some people that are still interested in where they're going to tell this, this Roman Reigns storyline and what's gonna happen going forward. So, comment down below let me know how do you guys feel about it man do you guys feel like people are gonna lose more interest now that roman reigns is still the champion or do y'all feel like that there's still some more story to tell and that people will stick around to see how it will play out uh for the remainder of the year but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel bro 250k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace